Well, good morning. Good morning. morning. Thanks. Thanks for coming. To see you. I'm uh, Barry Blackman. I'm a distinguished fellow at the Stimson Center, and it was my uh, privilege to chair this uh, committee uh, put together by the Peterson Foundation that looked at uh, U.S. defense strategy and uh, the U.S. defense budget. Uh, the kid committee first uh, met uh, a year and a half ago and developed uh, a strategy called strategic agility. We put out a report last year which uh, described the strategy, the reasons for it, and uh, drew implications uh, for it in different budgetary environments. And there's a lot of uh, discussions in the group. We agreed on many things, disagreed on others. One thing we did agree on was that there's no way sequester could happen because our leaders couldn't possibly be that stupid as to permit that to happen. But as you know, we were wrong. Uh, sequester has happened in <coughs> fiscal 13 and looking at the appropriations bills and the continuing resolution, it seems likely that sequester will happen again in fiscal 14. Um, at least DOD is assuming it will and is beginning, will begin to operate October 1st under uh, that, that assumption, so at least they won't have to make up time uh, when it actually does uh, cut in. Uh, can I have the next chart? The, um, when it became apparent last spring that this disaster was going to happen, that we were going to have these arbitrary across the board cuts again. We reconvened uh, the group that had done the report the previous years and added some uh, new members. And we have, as you can see, a very distinguished group of uh, former high-ranking military officials as well as uh, civilian defense and State Department officials and uh, a few academic experts, well-known academic experts as well. And the group re-examined and reaffirmed the strategy that we had developed the previous years and concluded it was imperative for Congress and the administration to prevent sequester from continuing to wreak havoc with these across the board cuts which are gutting our operational capabilities. Instead, uh, we urge the political leadership to bite the bullet and make the reductions required by the Budget Control Act essentially a $50 billion cut from the baseline, or 9%, but to do so in a rational, strategy-driven manner. And we believe that a reduction of this size can be made while uh, maintaining the military capabilities we need uh, to protect American interests wherever they may be challenged. 